When you think of artificial intelligence and algorithms, you think of numbers. You think of data coded in ones and zeros. You think of tables and graphs made to objectively measure and project the nature of reality. Ultimately, we see algorithms as things that are non-human and thus neutral. But they really aren't. And when you think about it, it does make sense. Data sets don't just emerge from the ground. They are always a result of humans doing things. But more importantly, there's always a set of choices behind a certain collection of information. Which data enters the computer and which doesn't? Which objectives and interests were at play during the collection of certain information? And which social realities lay beneath the world that the data present? Let's take a closer look at how some of these mechanisms work. What exactly is an algorithm? An algorithm is a process or a set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem-solving operations. They are used to sort, classify and create hierarchies of people, places, objects and ideas. An algorithm is kind of like a recipe for baking cookies. Uh, if you're baking the cookies, you are the computer, following the instructions in the recipe. So how does racism end up in a recipe for cookies? Before we'll get into that, I first need to specify what I mean by racism. I'm not talking about the explicit beliefs of some people who think that a race actually determines your value in a society or your intelligence. No, this is mostly an issue of systemic racism. Now, explaining systemic or institutional racism is way beyond the scope of this video, uh, so we'll just go from here. In our society, there is a certain bias that negatively impacts people of color. Algorithms, on the other hand, are by nature systems that discover and amplify patterns. They look for connections and correlations in a data set uh, so they can use those to perform the task at hand as efficiently as possible. Returning to the baking analogy, uh, when you've baked cookies a few times with uh, different recipes, you'll kind of start to see how cookies are generally baked. You'll start to see the pattern in cookie recipes. And the fact that algorithms do this is very helpful for us because they often find patterns that we, as the limited human beings that we are, wouldn't recognize. But it turns out that racism is one of those patterns. For the people who design, shape and train algorithms, it may not be so obvious that there is a negative bias against people of color in their data sets. But the way in which algorithms work means that they will find these patterns and amplify them. Alright, enough theory, how does this work in practice? Let's look at some examples. The world's most popular search engine, Google, has one of the most problematic algorithms when it comes to equality. Try looking up cute baby. You will be presented with a beautiful list of cute white babies. Or look up PhD graduate. Again, a lot of white skin. And until recently, typing black girls into the search bar would give you a page full of pornography. In 2019, researchers at the Georgia Institute of Technology tested the detection systems used in self-driving cars. These systems are designed to prevent the cars from running into pedestrians. But this technology was better at detecting people with lighter skin tones. This makes them less likely to spot black people and stop before crashing into them. Over the past decade, more and more police forces have started to use algorithms for predicting crime. But research has found that these algorithms are very susceptible to bias. Risk profiles for black people in many cases turn out way too high. This results in some awkward situations, like when someone who has committed a very small minor crime like speeding uh, but happened to be black is assigned a higher risk profile than someone who is white and has been arrested for an armed burglary. These are just a few examples, the list goes on and on, but I just wanted to give you an idea. So this widespread view of artificial intelligence being neutral, objective and non-human is inherently wrong. But it's the reason why to this day so many algorithms turn out biased, flawed and quite often racist. In a time when the digital world is so connected with our physical reality, a time when decisions made by algorithms are necessary for our society to function, these kinds of decisions have larger consequences than ever before. They can oppress certain people while enriching others. 
they can amplify and sustain the stereotypes and bias that we were just trying to get rid of. And as a result, they can make our society move backwards instead of forward. That's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.